Welcome back to Life to the Max. You know, we try to cover the full gamut, and sometimes they say this show is a bit of a circus. Tonight, we take you to the circus with Dan Monsky. Oh, to be in the circus. The thrills and romance of the big time, and the audience watching in awe. It makes me wonder how performers develop the skills to execute such amazing feats. In St. Paul, Minnesota, I found just such a school, which has been teaching circus classes to young people since 1994. And it offers quite a program. It's something completely different from anything else I do in my life. So I can just kind of come here and I know, do something that nobody else really does. This is low casting. It's the beginning level of flying trapeze. So it's just a lower, easier version of flying trapeze to get people eventually get up and do the real amazing stuff. We all had to work together, take turns to do stuff, set up stuff together, and teamwork is definitely easier with multiple people. I think it's a whole lot more fun than just an ordinary playground. There is a lot of adrenaline in it, where it's the small stuff of working really hard and finally being able to do a trick. This is not mainstream education. It's a school where participants strive to step out of their comfort zone and push their limits. I've done most of the things in circus, like globes, unicycle, trampoline, and tumble track too. Yeah. I've done a lot of things. What do you so, like about it? I just think it's fun, and I think I'm just kind of lucky because not a lot of kids get to do this a lot. Anwar, how old are you and how long have you been doing this? Well, I'm nine, and I kind of started when I was like one or two. My dad just started just picking me up, holding me on his hands and stuff. Then when I turned three and four, then I started doing so like the handstands. And then I came to Circus Juventus when I was about six years old. And it gets more exciting the more things I get to do. We've got 28 different acts, five levels within each act. There's something for every kid. Our inspiration uh, for Circus Juventus was my wife and I, who met in a youth circus in Sarasota, Florida in 1973. We were there at an era where the best of Ringling and the pinnacle of Ringling in, it, in the 50s had retired and they were our coaches. And uh, between the two of us, we did maybe some 20 different acts. So in 94, we came back, we were just on fire again with uh, what a neat thing it was and what it meant to us in our lives and how much it impacted us. Uh, and so we thought, wouldn't this be a neat thing to bring to the Twin Cities? Giving back to the community became important to Dan and Betty Butler. So in 1994, Circus of the Star was born. The very first year we did our first performance at Hillcrest Parks and Rec Center, a couple hundred people barreled into the gymnasium. We had everything decorated. We had a light show. And we had parents calling television stations and radio stations. They had no idea what they were about to experience. The popularity of the circus school grew year after year. With enrollment busting out at the seams, the butlers realized they had found their niche. Several years later, we raised $2 million and built this custom big top. We have 800 full-time students. We see about 2,000 kids a year. We're proud of the talent and the level of the training and the technique and the technical ability that our kids have achieved. I played soccer for 10 years and then one spring I came to see my twin cousins performing in a show here. They were doing acrobatics and I wouldn't let my parents leave until I had a sign-up sheet. And I've been in it for five years since then. As a circus performer, you have to be aware of yourself, of what you're doing, in addition to what your team is doing, because if you mess up, then your whole team messes up. If you fall, they fall too. So it's really a lot of trusting each other and teamwork. Teamwork is integral to the Circus Juventus program. I just love biking so much, and then to learn that they had a bike class here, it was really great, and other people get on the bike one at a time, two at a time, they can go on the sides, it, it's made me faster, more coordinated, and the circus is really great. The circus is a physical place, experiential, and it can't help but be sensational. Participants are developing their sense of coordination and physical strength, but the program reaches deeper, transforming participants into confident, highly expressive, mature individuals. I've gotten healthier, I've gotten stronger, but even beyond that, I think it's easier to have fun when you're comfortable with yourself. What a different life and education this is, and thrilling too. It's really cool to be able to say that I can do a handstand on top of four chairs or something, or jump off a two-story building onto a trampoline or something. We would start with two chairs, 
and then we would start going up from there and we would put it on the table. So you gotta be strong to like get up there, but you also need your strength to balance you. I couldn't hold back any longer. The circus environment began to intrigue me and the activities looked exciting. The kids made it all look so easy. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. Soon, I joined in to test my skills under the Big Top too. They do offer programs for adults. Is there anything I need to know before I go up there? Just hold on. While getting my nerve up, I got some pointers on how to survive in the aerial arena. Legs up. So not this time, but next time. I'm going to say hop, you pick your knees up, you look back, you let go. Okay. Ready, hop. I, I guess I could <laughs> brace my fall. <laughs> I need to work on my form. How'd I do for my first time? That's pretty good. They kind of went through the accelerated program. Normally we just have you swing. I mean, trying to hook your legs and then do a flip. That's pretty uh, aggressive stuff for your first time. Ready? I love seeing you there. Any pointers for my next run? Just call, just try to slow it down, relax, take it easy. I mean, I know it's kind of an adrenaline rush, but at the same time, you got to kind of everything's got to be smooth. Timing is everything. I have to flip my legs onto the bar when gravity's effect is at its least. Hold on to the bar, listen to the hub, and go. No hesitation. This is an endeavor of faith. I'm up again, and this time I'm dialed in. Totally focused. Ready? Hop! Go. Hands. Woo! Now. Where was my bar? <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anybody can do this. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch. Photography for a lifetime.